But we cut myself a nice little bluegill and oh. almost knocked him unconscious, but he totally swam away, so he's good. Poor little guy. Sometimes you find the one piece of worm that hangs on for five or six different fish is the most effective compared to others. Let's wrap this worm back on. I'm having a hard time seeing. There's a load like right here, David. Yeah, it was almost too deep there. They want to be like six inches from the bottom right now. They wouldn't like, come up. It was it was too deep for me to sight fish. Yeah. Woo! Okay, let's see if I don't match this guy up the side of the pier. Or the moor, I guess is what it's called. Got a little yellow perch here. They do, like I've been catching um, bluegill and perch. Oh! Nothing fancy, but another little uh, yellow perch here. It just got rained on and I'm trying to avoid getting a few drops from a weed on me. <laughs> out, of, out of instinct. <laughs> Nice little school sitting here in a little circle waiting for me just to drop down my worm yet again to get onto a bite of some of these worms. Look at those guys. Lots of fish here. I would not be disappointed. I definitely highly suggest coming over to the Hanlon Moor Park. I would definitely suggest coming to the Hanlon Point Mooring Wall. Does that sound right? It's really short. <laughs> That's a new smallest fish maybe for the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, smaller than the bass, I would say. Is that the smallest guy? That, I don't know, you did have that one small bluegill. There's a pumpkin seed though. See how greedy they are? Look how big that worm was compared to his mouth. He could hardly even get it in there. I'll just go back, grow and be bigger for next year. There he goes. That was it for our trip to the Toronto Islands. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see where else we go urban fishing in the GTA.